Okay, I'm going to burnish the pivot on the end of this um, balance here. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to put the balance and the pivots into the um, right position here. It's a little bit tricky. There we go. And then I tighten this on top. So I've got the right distance. And then I apply a little bit of oil to the top of the pivot and the burnishing tool here. And this is so I don't use too much friction here and wear the pivot down to nothing. And then once I've got that done, I've, uh, this is my burnishing tool here. I make sure that the round part the round edge of the tool, the sort of a rounded corner there, is facing inward and as the pivot sort of cones up, this conforms to the shape of that cone. I made a little red dot on the uh, top part so I know that the top part is always up and I'm, I think I'm left-handed. So Then I use a reel, this is just one of these reels here, and I take the reel and I jam it underneath my vise and you can't see this but trust me it's working and then I take that reel and I put that I put the, uh, the line right through there see make sure that's in yeah and then I have to make sure that the this fork is is right And there we go. Then on that side, and then when I pull that towards me, the uh, make sure that's on the right side. I have to make sure that as I pull this towards me, I push the other way. So you're always going in the opposite direction as the as the balance staff is turning. And I've got pretty high magnification here, so I could watch what I'm doing here. There we go. Yeah, it's slipping a little bit. Right? There we go. That's nice right there. So I got that set. I think that's really good. And then uh, when I'm finished that, I just remove this reel like that. And then I can back off this here a bit like that and then just remove should be touching this in my hand but just remove that from from the burnishing tool have a look at the end of the pivots and they're smooth as a baby's bum and now I'm going to do the same thing but I'm going to stick it through the hole um, there's a plate and a hole so I can actually burnish the end of the pivot and round it out a little bit so there's zero friction that's how you do it. Okay, now this is part two. So I've taken the cap off of the um, tool here. And then what I want to do is measure the end of the pivot. Now, the pivot has to fit nicely in the hole. I'm not, I don't want to wear the pivot out. So I've noticed that it fits nicely into seven. Six, it kind of just sticks out a bit. So I think I'll put it into seven. Um, and then I will set this up. So first thing I've got to do is make sure that I've got number seven up. So I put this, put the tool in like that, and then I have to make sure seven is up. I think seven is up now. Then tighten that down like so. Then, this is a tricky part I think, I'm going to back all this off a bit and set this up here so I need to put the pivot into the hole here like so. There we go. 
that's in nicely. Let me tighten this up here. Like that. And then I need to make sure that this thing will spin, so I just set this pawl up a little bit. I'll turn this a bit. And these are bit pretty finicky. This is an old it's an old tool, right? So I'll back this off a bit. There we go. And then just move that forward like so. And then it sets it up. There we go. And I just have to move this down. Not have it touch the... Uh, you don't want it to touch the plate at all. So you want room for your burnishing tool to get in there. But for it not to touch the plate. There we go. Now once again apply a little oil to the end here. I'll change my magnification here so I can see what I'm doing. That's a lot of oil. <laughs> <coughs> anyway, apply a little bit of a lot of oil. Now in this case here I'm going to use my burnishing tool but I don't believe that it matters uh, that the rounded corner is up or down or whatever because all I'm doing is flattening the end and then rounding it just slightly so I'm going to come at it at a little bit of an angle so I'm going to set myself up here again with the uh, one of these badge spools and of course hit the camera with my hand and then put that in there like so there we go like that and I'm actually going to put the red dot down this time or towards me I guess and then I'm going to get really close here to make sure I don't screw this up so so right now I'm working on the end of this I don't have to move it much I just have to spin it while I'm doing this and it'll wear it down a bit I'm just going left and right and then rocking the burnishing tool back and forth and that should give it more of a rounded shape there we go so I'm almost finished and I think I'll just say that's it I'm going to wear the end of the pivot out completely and there that's one side so I'll just repeat the process on the other side and we're good to go and I've done the tips.